It's summer 2021, and in spite of hot weather, Central Valley High Speed Rail construction is staying on track. Work continues at the Road 27 grade separation in Madera County. On the north side of the structure, crews hauled more than 100,000 cubic yards of dirt to form the slope of the structure. At the most northern abutment, crews are working on joint sealing the abutment with concrete. Crews will then begin to pave the road with asphalt later this summer. When complete, the Road 27 grade separation will be 636 feet long, 43 feet wide, and will take traffic and pedestrians over the existing BNSF and future high-speed rail lines. At the Cedar Viaduct in Fresno County, crews are installing the metal pan decking across the superstructure spanning over State Route 99. To the south, crews are working on tying rebar and removing forms of the parapet, or safety barrier, on top of the structure. When complete, the Cedar Viaduct will span nearly 3,700 feet long and will carry high-speed rail trains over State Route 99, North Avenue, Cedar Avenue, and Golden State Boulevard. At the Conejo Viaduct in Fresno County, crews are installing false work for the edge beams of the superstructure. That's the portion of the structure that will carry high-speed rail trains over the BNSF track. To the south, iron workers can be seen tying rebar for the lower edge beams where false work has been installed. Iron workers will continue to move north as they install more false work. At Fargo Avenue in Kings County, crews can be seen working on the bent caps that sit atop the columns of the future grade separation. Crews have finished hauling dirt for the slope on the east side of the structure. When complete, Fargo Avenue will be realigned slightly north atop of the overcrossing and will take traffic over the future high-speed rail lines. At the Hanford Viaduct, crews are working on the abutments. That's a structure that connects the deck of the structure to the ground at the most northern and southern portions of the structure. Going south, crews are nearly complete erecting 286 columns needed to form the substructure of the viaduct that will connect to the future Kings to Larry Station. Hanford Viaduct is the largest high-speed rail structure in the Central Valley, spanning nearly 6,330 feet long. When it's done, it will carry high-speed rail trains over Grangeville Boulevard, the San Joaquin Valley Railroad, and State Route 198. At Peterson Road Bridge in Kern County, crews are beginning work on the superstructure by installing forms for the girder walls. Bridge reinforcement and post-tensioning apparatuses are also being set into the bridge structure to be stressed later this year. When finished, the structure will be more than 153 feet long, 52 feet wide, and will take high-speed rail trains over Peterson Road. The abutment walls are up at the Kimberliner Viaduct. Crews are now preparing to begin work on the superstructure that will carry high-speed trains over Kimberliner Road. When it's done, the viaduct will span approximately 110 feet long. We've started working on a station site in Fresno, even amid the pandemic. The High Speed Rail Authority has hosted virtual workshops and collected feedback from the City of Fresno staff, metropolitan planning organizations, nonprofit organizations, business associations, and community advocates. The intent is to gather local preferences and feedback about the future of Fresno's High Speed Rail Station. The process is ongoing and the authority welcomes input from all community members. Looking ahead, the authority will advance station site planning and coordination in the Central Valley, leading to the initiation of design work for the station site facilities. We'll be scheduling more stakeholder meetings. Visit hsr.ca.gov forward slash contact to sign up for our newsletter updates or contact us at central.valley at hsr.ca.gov.